Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So right, John S3, it's wonderful to hang out with you this morning. We have some very important information heading your way right now. Antimicrobial resistance and the emergence of superbugs is a global health and development threat. We know this. Now, we rely on antibiotics and antimicrobials to treat serious infections such as TB, pneumonia, meningitis, as well as other common infections. But what happens when the bacteria and viruses become resistant to these medicines. Now there is a danger. Now here to educate us a little bit more this morning on this topic is Yasmina Johnson, proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram, OTC sponsors of Brave. Uh, yes, uh, Yasmina, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you I'm, for I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this because I, I, I still don't think a lot of people realize the severity and the seriousness yes. of something like antibiotic resistance. Now, let's start off by talking about antimicrobial stewardship. What exactly is it and why is it important? Yeah, so, so as you've mentioned, um, you, you know, we, we're getting this development of resistance against our antibiotics. And when that happens, um, these antibiotics become ineffective, you can't treat patients anymore, patients become sicker and so on. And what they found in evidence is that um, there's a close link between our use of antimicrobials and the development of resistance. So as we use the antibiotics, the resistance goes up. up. If we uh, reduce the use, the resistance comes down. So antimicrobial stewardship is about protecting our antibiotics um, and using it wisely. So we only use it when we have to. Um, and when we do use it, mm. we use the right antibiotic. Often what you find is that People will use antibiotics because it's the in antibiotic or it's mm. easier to use, it's more convenient, but it might not be the right antibiotic. I see. Um, so it's very Using it just for the sake of it being an antibiotic. An antibiotic, yeah. or like I said, it's, it's more convenient, but you should pr preferably perhaps use another one, using the um, not underdose, not overdose, um, and using it just for the right period yeah. to treat the infection without using for extended periods where it's really not necessary. So it's all about how we manage antibiotics. I see, wise. I see the safe and, 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 and responsible use, use of, antibiotics. of antimicrobials. Yes. Now, how does the antimicrobial resistance, how does it impact our healthcare system, of course, and also the availability of effective treatments for various ailments? Yes. Because, I mean, now we, we see that people start getting resistant and, did, I mean, what, what is that knock-on effect? It's, it's huge, it's huge. Obviously, if you are infected with a resistant um, um, infection, you are sicker longer, you um, may be in hospital longer, you are out of work longer, your treatment is more expensive. Um, there are times when you develop a, a resistance infection where you need isolation, and that is more resource intensive because you need it to be treated separately. Um, also, uh, in, in terms of people that are frail or have other illnesses, if they get these resistant uh, infections, they, they might not survive the infection. Mm. Um, and, and often, you, sure. you, you don't have a treatment for a, res for a resistant um, um, yeah. a bug. But, um, you know, people think these super, these super bugs, bugs only happen yeah. in hospitals or in ICUs. Mm. But they actually occur right in our community. Yeah, um, you can everywhere. see examples of um, multi-drug resistant TB. Um, every few years we have to change our treatment guidelines and use mm. different antibiotics, different doses. And some, for, for some of these common infections, we are now running out of options. Now, we know that pharmacists play a very big role in this space. What exactly is a pharmacist's role when it comes to um, antimicrobial stewardship? And also, I think, on the other end, how can individuals uh, go about protecting themselves against becoming resistant to, to your antimicrobials? So, so pharmacists, they, they play a huge role. In, in many um, hospitals, they the AMS, what we call antimicrobial stewardship champion. Um, um, in terms of patient care, they would advise you on how to correctly use it. Um, sometimes if you use certain antibiotics with certain foods or certain dairy product, you can um, make it ineffective. So it's about how to use it, what interactions may happen with medicines that you're already taking or that you um, would like to take. So advising and educating the patient on a more healthcare level, um, they usually work in a multidisciplinary team because antimicrobial stewardship is about a multidisciplinary yes. team. You need your infection prevention control um, person, you need your infectious disease person, microbiologist, and also your prescriber uh, or clinician. So, um, 
at, at that level, we also look at the use of antimicrobials for signals where you need to intervene. You, you know, if you see a certain antibiotics use go up, you might think, hey, what's happening? Is it inappropriate use or is it some sure. resistance developing? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so they, they play a very um, different role at, at different at levels. At different levels, yeah. But I think the message here is for people yeah. to not just go about freely using yes. antibiotics and really think about, you know, yeah. when is the right time to take yeah. it, listen to the doctors, listen to the pharmacists. Yeah, I mean, you were asking about um, how, how can yeah. we protect ourselves um, against yeah. antimicrobial resistance, uh, the patient. It, it is firstly to try not to get an infection. Yeah. And I think COVID told us a lot about that. Preventive you know? care. Yeah, yeah, the masking, the sanitizing. And when you do have an infection, not to spread that infection. It's yeah. very important. So all this um, uh, reduces our use of antibiotics, which yeah. is very important. Sure. Don't share your antibiotics, don't... Um, yeah. And if you are on it, finish the course. Yeah. <laughs> and fluid and colds, you don't need antibiotics. Exactly. Okay? And if it's green and yellow, it doesn't necessarily mean it's an infection. Exactly. Right. Love it. Yes, Mina, yeah. thank you very much. That was some valuable information for sure. Now, don't forget that uh, you can win 1,000 Rand cash daily with Adcock Ingram OTC Sponsors of Braith during the month of September. And all you need to do is visit the competition post on Expresso's Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter pages and tell us who your favorite pharmacist is and why. The competition closes at midday today. So get entering right now. T's and C's do apply. And you can, be, uh, if you can find them on our website, Expresso Show. Dot com. Yasmina, thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. September is Pharmacy Month. In proud association with Adcock Ingram, OTC, sponsors of Brave. Inspiring communities, one pharmacy at a time.